Usually when we make a truth table, we get a combination of trues and falses. But there are a couple of special cases, and they have special names. A contradiction is a compound statement that is always false, and a tautology is a compound statement that is always true. We also have an implication, which is a conditional statement that is a tautology. Let's consider the following statements. The first one is, she loves me and she loves me not. Let's represent the simple statement, she loves me, with a letter P. Then she loves me not is just not P, so altogether we have P and not P. Now since this compound statement only involves one simple statement, we only need to consider two different cases. The first case is that P is true, and the second case is that P is false. So first of all, we'll fill in column P, and then column not P, and then finally we'll form the conjunction of columns 1 and 2. For P, we just copy the truth values true and false. For not P, we find the negation of true and false. The negation of true is false, and the negation of false is true. And then finally, we form the conjunction of these two columns. Now remember that conjunction is only true when both parts are true. In this case, we have true, false. That results in false. And false, true also results in false. So we see that in each case, the result is false. That means that she loves me and she loves me not is a contradiction. Now on the other hand, let's consider she loves me or she loves me not. Again, we'll let P represent she loves me. So the only difference here is that instead of having P and not P, we have P or not P. So we'll fill in columns 1 and 2 just the same as we did before. But this time we'll use disjunction rather than conjunction. And remember that conjunction is false only when both parts are false. It's true if at least one part is true. So in this first row we have true or false. That's true. False or true. Well that's true also because we've got at least one true. So this time we get true in each case and that means that this is a tautology. The compound statement, she loves me or she loves me not, is always true. Well, what about the statement, heads I win, tails you lose? Is this a contradiction, a tautology, an implication, or none of the above? In order to see, let's let heads be P and I win be Q. So how would we write this statement in symbolic form? Well, the first part, we might rewrite it as, if heads, then I win. In the second part, we might rewrite as, if tails, then you lose. Now, the tricky part is how to connect these two together. Should we use the word and, or should we use the word or? Well, it's not possible to get both heads and tails on the flip of a coin, but it is possible to get heads or tails on the flip of the coin. So we want to write this as a disjunction using the word or. If heads, then I win, or if tails, then you lose. So what would that look like in symbolic form? Well, if heads, then I win, that's going to be if P, then Q. What about if tails, then you lose? Well, since P is heads, tails must be not heads, which is not P. And if you lose, then that means that I win. So you lose is the equivalent of Q. So we can write the second part as if not P, then Q. And then finally, we join these two conditionals together with OR. Since we have two simple statements, we have four different cases to consider. Just like regular algebraic statements, let's go ahead and start inside the parentheses. We'll start off with P. 
He just alternates. True, true, false, false. Next, we'll fill in Q, which just alternates. True, false, true, false. In the second set of parentheses, we have not P. The negation of true is false, and the negation of false is true. So we end up with false, false, true, true. And then finally, we have Q. And again, that is true, false, true, false. Now we'll go ahead and evaluate the conditionals. Now remember that a conditional can only be false if the first part is true and the second part is false. So I'm going to go through and find all the places where the first part is true and the second part is false and put a false there. And here we have true, false, so this must be false. In every other case, the conditional is true. So we can fill in all the rest of the values with true. And then finally, the last step is to form the disjunction of columns 5 and 6. Remember, an OR statement is only false if both parts are false. Well, in this case, there's at least one true in each case. So that means that we fill in true for all cases. Since we ended up with all trues, that means that this is a tautology. Is it also an implication? Well, an implication is a conditional statement that is a tautology. So the question is, is this a conditional? It's certainly a tautology. Well, the last thing that we evaluated was a disjunction. So that means that this statement is a disjunction. It is not a conditional statement. Therefore, it is not an implication. So even though it contains two conditional statements, overall it is a disjunction and therefore it is not an implication, but it is a tautology.